Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel, and today is Advent Day 16. And on Advent Day 16, we have this. It's wet bandits barley wine. I both like and hate this label. Um, when it's really bright, you can see enough of it but like in mid light or mid darkness you can't read or see anything on here like it's like here without light on it like right here was not shiny it's just black um and especially where it says barley wine it's pretty hard to read I haven't found anywhere where it says alcohol by volume uh, untapped. It says it's 9%. That's a decent number for a barley wine, I guess. But I don't know if that's official or not. Anyway, this is from Will County Brewing Company, and you'll never guess how they got that name. It's because they're in Will County. It's specifically Shorewood, Illinois. And Shorewood is pretty close to Joliet area. I have family there. And their website is interesting. It's shop.willcountybrew.com. Uh, if you just put willcountybrew.com, it won't go there. It's shop.willcountybrew.com. And yeah, they have a pretty basic looking website. I'm not sure. It says they're. Been open since 2016, um, but they do have like a list of what's currently on tap at their tap house. But anyway, barley wines are kind of a misnomer. It's not a wine. In order to be a wine, it has to be juice. Uh, it gets the name wine because of how complex the flavor is and how high the alcohol volume is. I have to think like before there was really a craft brew scene in the United States. Uh, most beers were at most 5%. So when something came out that was in the 9 to 10% range, people more associated more with wine than with beer. And so I got the name Barley Wine, both because of the high alcoholic content and complexity of flavor. Uh, anyway, Let's go ahead and open it, take a picture, and try it out. It does have a light, almost orangey color to it. Foam is a very light color as well. Let me take a picture. I'm going to have to put the flash on this picture so the can looks like something and not a black cylinder. And there we go. Let's try it out. Smells decent. It smells like it could go either way. Let's taste it. Mm. It's a bit sweeter and lighter than I was expecting it. Usually, to me, barley wines have felt a little heavy. And this doesn't feel that way. Barley wines in my history has tasted more fruity and balanced between sweet and bitter, and this just this is not very complex. It's light. It kind of tastes like a, a red ale. It 
everything is very mid. Mid sweet, mid bitter, mid roast. This is a nice uh, stream of bubbles. This could be a cool picture. Oh, was that? Um, really, uh, I don't know if bitter is the right word for it. Bitter tannic towards the end there. It's almost like initially when you first start it, like, oh, this is a little bit of sweetness. But the bitter part builds. So the more you drink it, the less you notice the sweet part, and the more you notice the bitter part. And by the end, it's just all bitter. Not my favorite. Wet Bandits. Um, of course, named after the characters from the Hold On series. And the, um, I think that guy and that guy might be like really pixelated versions of um, the characters from the movie. This is a very underwhelming version of uh, barley wine, but at least it doesn't taste like it's gone rancid. Um, which I did get the confirmation from that brewery that it was not supposed to taste sour at all. It was supposed to taste like honey. Um, so yeah, definitely something wrong with that. Although I've been hearing more reviews about it. And I think the vast majority of the ones I've seen had the same sour taste to it. And then I've had some people like, oh, I really liked it. It had a slight tang. So the uh, infect infectedness could range, I guess. And maybe some people liked it the way it turned out. I don't. I thought it was undrinkable. Uh, but to each their own. And to you, I say, like and subscribe, and I'll see you the next one. Goodbye.